Hi folks, Casey here with Two Tankards. Welcome back to another how-to session on the MakerMaid M2 CNC. Today's video is sponsored by MakerMaid, the manufacturers of the M2 CNC. And today we're going to take a look at the reset chain calibration button. What it does in the Makerverse software and how you set up for it. So stay tuned. So just a quick note here folks, if you have not calibrated your chains yet, you cannot use the chain reset function button in Makerverse. If you have not done that, then please refer to our video series on the calibration of the M2 for the chain tab. Once you're done with that, come on back to this video. For the rest of you, if you have already calibrated your chains and two of the links are colored or marked appropriately, let's go ahead and get started. So how does the reset chain functionality work in Makerverse? Simply put, when you click that button in Makerverse, it resets your machine home. Now the beauty of that is if you have a known position, which you did during your original calibration under the Chains tab in Makerverse, you marked those two chain links, you have a known position. So if you move those chains back to that original position and you click reset chains, it's a known position and it will reset your machine home to that original position when you did the larger calibration at an earlier instance. Let me show you how you move those chains. Of course, there are multiple ways to do this, but my preferred method is to hang my sled to take the weight off the chains so I can move the chains physically on the sprockets. So I hang my sled on my spoil board with a bungee cord and ensure that the chains have slack in them. Next, I find the painted chain link and I lift the chain up off the sprocket and rotate it around and put the painted chain length as close to the top of the sprocket as possible. I do that on both chains. Now I will remove the bungee cord and let the sled weight fully hang on the chains so I can now adjust the position of the sprockets in Makerverse to get the sled right back to where its original position was in my original calibration. Now that I've repositioned my chains, I can now go into Makerverse and jog each motor to get the painted chain length pointing exactly north on the sprocket. I do this by simply using the angled buttons in small one millimeter move increments until the chains are perfectly where they were before. Once you've moved your chains, you can see that the bit should be exactly where it was when you did your original calibration. Once you've done this, you can then go in and click Reset Chains. Once you click Reset Chains, Makerverse will automatically reset the machine home and you'll be ready to move forward. All right, folks, that's it for the Reset Chain function in Makerverse. As you can see, it really depends on having a good set of calibrated chains. So take your time during the calibration process and ensure that you get a good mark on those chains and they're pointing in the right direction. Take your time and do that correctly and you'll be able to use this enhanced feature moving forward for resetting your chains when you have issues such as the chain coming off the sprocket, etc. As always, if you like our content, please click like and subscribe. And if you're buying anything from MakerMade, feel free to use my affiliate code right here. And we'll see you on the next one.